Viruses are microorganisms that require hosts like humans to survive. As a virus enters our body, it binds to our cells. Our cells react by reading the genetic code of the virus and creating viral copies. But sometimes a piece of the genetic code gets lost or changed during the copying process. This creates a mutation in the virus. Many of these mutations will do almost nothing, but some can help or hinder the virus's ability to survive. If a new version benefits the virus, it can become the dominant variant by out-competing the old one. That's why we get a new flu vaccine each year, which is updated to fight the new variant. The virus causing COVID-19 is also evolving, but because it is larger than the flu virus, each mutation causes less change. This is why our current COVID vaccines still protect us against serious infections. These small changes happen continuously to create new sub-variants, but sometimes an abrupt shift can happen when mutations build up or two sub-variants merge. When this happens, the structure of the virus changes, creating a new variant. Globally, in the COVID-19 pandemic, Delta and Omicron remain the two major variants of concern. But each variant also has sub-variants or sublineages. Delta, for example, is an umbrella term for more than 200 sublineages. They're all closely related genetically and derived from a common ancestor. Many current COVID infections in Australia are caused by an Omicron sublineage known as BA.2. New variants and sublineages will keep emerging as people continue to become infected. That's why scientists are pushing for higher vaccination rates and for strategies such as physical distancing and mask wearing to help slow global transmission.